Merry Christmas, everyone. If you're wondering, Merry Christmas? Yeah, September 1st here in the Philippines, and this is the official start date of the Christmas season. And I had forgot about it, actually, almost every year. I almost for forget, like, September comes around. But I walk into the gym this morning, and they're belting out in their speakers as, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and then Feliz Navidad, and uh, all of that's going on in the background. I'm like, oh yeah, September 1st. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some of the things that you may not know in the Philippines. And I'm gonna share with you some personal experiences I've had along the way. Stick around. All right guys, so some of these things I'm gonna talk about are just personal experiences and comparing notes with other expats, foreigners that live here in the Philippines, they have come across the same thing. Now, these are not the big differences or anything. These are some of the small things that you may not know about. Uh, for one, I'm gonna talk about warranties. Now, when you buy stuff in the Philippines, for example, we went and bought a coffee maker. Now, what they do in the Philippines is they will take it out of the box, unpack it, plug it in, make sure it heats up and all of that, and then they repack it and they give it to you. Now, you buy a coffee maker in the US, they don't do that. They, you simply get the box you know, of the coffee maker you want, you take it home. And if you have a problem with it later, guess what? Then you take it back to the store and you get a refund or store credit or exchange it or whatever. There's no opening up the box, testing out the coffee maker to make sure it heats up. That doesn't happen in the US. But here in the Philippines, when you buy something, I mean everything, my TV, uh, the washing machine that I bought, the microwave, all of that, they check in the store. So they unpack it out of the box and they are testing it. Why do they do that? Well, because they don't really have warranties here. now. Yes, on bigger ticket items like, like the big screen TV that I bought, yeah, there are warranties. Sometimes they are very small, like seven days, or sometimes the warranties are so ridiculous that uh, you end up just forgetting about it anyway because you have to go through so much. For example, when you buy something on Shopee or Lazada, that's like the equivalent of Amazon back in the States, if you buy something, you need to film unboxing it. And then if it's damaged, then you're able to send it back. And it's a whole process just to do that. And so half the, half the time people just don't even send it back because it's such a pain. Yeah, you actually have to film and do the whole process unboxing because you can't take a picture after it's already out of the box and show that it's damaged because they'll come back and say, oh, well maybe you damaged it. So it has to be done while you're opening it up. Somebody needs to be filming it. So this is why I use Amazon most of the time now here. I'll give you a personal story. I had a little JBL speaker. Uh, the charging port wasn't charging anymore. I couldn't get the uh, charger into the port anymore. Now it had a one year warranty on this little JBL speaker. I had bought the JBL speaker at the JBL store in Ayala Mall in Cebu. I brought it back. And they said, yes, there is a warranty on it. Uh, what we have to do is send it back to Manila to the repair center. They repair it, then they will send it back to us and we'll contact you. And I'm thinking, okay, great. So what are we talking about? A couple of weeks? And he said, no, uh, two to three months. And so guess what? Right at about three months later, they contact me, the speaker is fixed. And this is normal. This, this is normal. So a lot of, at least us foreigners, we kind of say, forget it, you know, I'll just buy another one. Uh, but what I've been doing, honestly, when I can, is I buy most of my stuff now with, at Amazon because it does have the free shipping over the $49. There are some caveats. Not every single item is available. You can click the filter and click free shipping and it'll, it'll just show the items that ship free. You can't order things like food or heavy items like a small piece of furniture, like an office chair. You're I mean, they'll ship it, but you won't. But you won't find the free shipping. So 
that's something that uh, you should be aware of when you come out to the Philippines. That's why I always tell people, you want your electronics, buy that in the West, bring that out with you, and then you can order smaller things and stuff from Amazon. Okay, so that is one thing that you may or may not know. Second thing, by the way, is uh, with motorcycles, when you purchase a motorbike here, you don't have like full coverage like they do in the States. They just give you the barest minimum of liability to cover the other party if, in, if damage. And I don't even know if it covers injuries or property. And I, I used to be claims adjuster for uh, Progressive Insurance back in the day. And so the insurance thing drives me crazy. I assume that the bike was covered bumper to bumper, but it's really not uh, with the insurance. So the barest minimum of liability. And that is why I really highly recommend travel medical insurance. Uh, safety wing is typically the best one with the amount of coverage you get with medical. There is a link down in the description, but if you're gonna move or travel out to the Philippines and you are gonna rent a motorbike or buy a motorbike, and it's almost a necessary thing here to uh, have for transportation, unless you're in like the Cebu metro metropolis or the Manila metropolis area where you can kind of walk around, you almost need a bike or a car or something. So do yourself a favor, get travel medical insurance. There's a link in the description to get a quote. Cover yourself, be safe. An another thing, is a waitress service here that I wanted to discuss. A couple things I've noticed now. Uh, one, if you find a hair in your food or the food is not to your liking, guess what? It's not like it uh, is in the States where you could complain to the manager and uh, they, might comp, they might comp your meal and give you a voucher for the next time uh, because they really they don't want bad press. They know bad press you know, spreads fast and they don't want the bad reviews so they typically are quick to comp everything well they don't do that here you find a hair in your food or i remember finding a, a hair in the food one time here you think they would comp the meal or something no they, they don't do that here that that's not a thing uh one time i was at a resort in Camotes, cebu and the waitress came out i was staying at the resort and i was sitting with a uh, you know, the girl I was dating at the time, a couple of expat friends and their girlfriends. And so we all, all had ordered like mango shakes. She came out, she must have been brand new, nervous. She took one drink off the tray and the whole thing spilled all over me. Luckily, we were at the resort where I was staying. So I just went to my room and, got, you know, took all my clothes off, washed it in the sink, put on new clothes, took a shower, came back out. And at that point, everybody had new shakes, including myself. Now, you would think that my shake would at least be comped. No. No, nothing about like, oh, we'll take care of your dry cleaning. Uh, uh, maybe a manager would come out to apologize. I mean, the waitress apologized, and I, I wasn't mad at her or anything like that. It was an accident. It's not like she did it on purpose. I don't, at least I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she didn't do it on purpose, but... All the shakes went on me. My friends were just in, uh, were like, uh, oh my gosh, you know. But like I said, I went, I went and changed clothes and all that. But no, nothing comped, no, nothing. That just doesn't happen here. And another thing I found out later, now I can't say that this is every single establishment because I, I don't know for sure. But a large majority, I can tell you, that if they're, for example, if, if it's the waitress's screw up, you order some, say, you know, I want the salmon and asparagus. And she brings out salmon and broccoli. And they got to go and recook the whole meal or they, she gave you the wrong item. Often, they will deduct it from the waitress's salary. Yeah. And also with tipping. Tipping, when, when, you, when you tip in the Philippines, uh, if you think you're giving that, you know, you get outstanding service from this waitress, for example and you say, wow, she deserves 500 pesos or a couple hundred pesos, and you leave it, that does not go directly to her. That goes to the entire staff, including like kitchen and, and everybody, and they just split it. So you have to remember that if you're 
tipping, it's going to go, it's going to be shared. Now, some of you might think, well, that's, that's great. Some of you might think that's not so great because maybe these people over here are terrible waiters and lazy and this waitress busts her butt while the other ones are standing around doing nothing and you want to reward her in particular well you're rewarding all of them so be aware of that when you tip another thing a uh, personal experience I met a viewer he said I'd like to buy you a coffee you know can I meet you and I said yeah that'd, that'd be great uh, so I went out met him uh, this is a coffee shop I go to once in a while so I guess they just assumed the coffee would be on my bill and his uh, drink would be on his bill well me thinking that it's automatically just gonna be put on his bill because he said he was buying I didn't even say anything I just said hey it was nice meeting you after about an hour or so left and uh, he wasn't aware that they didn't put the coffee on his bill so he paid his bill and left and meanwhile the waitress staff or the waiters and stuff they thought that I just left without I forgot to pay so I had come back into the coffee shop I think maybe three four days later and the waitress runs up to me and she's like uh, Sir Gio Sir Gio you didn't pay for your one or two coffees last time and I'm like oh I was like oh the guy I was with should have paid for that and, he, and she's like oh we, he didn't pay he just paid for his own coffee so you have to make sure you clarify that because the waitress told me in particular she said that she had to pay for it out of her money so out of her tips or, or whatever she had to pay for it so I ended up, I gave the money and you know it went back to her and then I actually confirmed with Maya and she told me the same thing she's like yeah when I was a waitress if if we did if we messed up or somebody walked out one of our tables walked out on us they had to pay for it directly not too fair but uh, that happens here these are just a few things that I wanted to share with you things you may not know now if you like this type of video let me know in the comments I'll share more little things that you may or may not know about the Philippines now I can't say with 100% certainty that this applies all across the board because it may not but other people I've talked to Filipinos and stuff this seems to be the general practice let me know if you want more of these videos I can definitely share more stories of little things that you may or may not know not the big obvious things that are usually made into videos but some of the smaller things anyway guys if you want to help support my channel consider joining my YouTube membership for a small amount you can help support my channel and get access to additional videos and more benefits by clicking the join button under any of my YouTube videos and if you want even more videos and more benefits head over to patreon.com slash geo in the philippines get more than 80 some videos i have published out there posts weekly um, benefits you even get free stuff after a couple of months of being a member at certain levels so patreon.com slash geo in the philippines and guys last thing if you haven't checked out my website check it out geo in the philippines.com sign up for the free monthly newsletter that I post and uh, that has information about different places to go and see and things you might need while being here and um, check out my geo travel essentials on the web page things that I highly recommend that I personally use for living or traveling out in the Philippines thank you guys so much and I'll see everyone next time bye